Trading terms for beginners. Okay, today I'm going to go over the most common trading terms for beginners that most people may think that are easy, but they're only easy if you know them. So everyone has to learn these at the start. So today this will be a very useful video for someone starting out in trading or even intermediate traders. Okay, so I'm going to start off with a stock. A stock or a share represents the ownership of a part of the equity of a company. So what does that mean? So a stock just represents a part of the company, a part of the company's equity. So an e equity of the total co company, so the book value of that company. So if that company was sold tomorrow after paying off all its debts, the value of that would be split out between the shareholders. Okay, so stock or share. So an example of a stock would be Sony. So Sony is a, a great stock to buy for me. They just released the PlayStation 5 and their stock price has gone way up in the last few months. So this is a, a stock, a, a stock. So a part, a part of the equity of a company, okay? So it, really easy, keep, keep it simple, okay? So then we have the stock market. A stock market is just a broad term that refers to all companies that list their shares and the investors that buy and sell the shares. So the stock market is just a general term for the overall process of companies listing their listing their their shares, selling their shares on the stock market, and the investors that buy and sell them. Okay. So everyone, so the share is Sony, and then the investors that buy and sell. So it's just a broad term that covers everything. Okay. So then we come to the stock exchange. So the stock exchange is just the entity that facilitates individuals or investors to gather to, to buy and sell stocks. Okay. So the stock exchange is just where everyone where the companies come to list, it's actually the platform, the infrastructure where the companies list their stocks and investors come and buy and sell these stocks, okay? So it's just like a farmer coming to a mart to buy and sell animals, okay? So I reason why I added that, that in, because my father's a farmer, uh, was a farmer, but I work in IT now at the moment. So it's just like a farmer's coming to the mart to buy and sell the the cattle or the animals okay so an example of a stock exchange is the nasdaq okay which is an electronic marketplace for buying and selling securities okay so just for now securities is just a type of a stock okay so if we go to etoro we can see that i'm on the nasdaq okay so the nasdaq is ma mainly made up with I it companies technology companies but that's not it has also got all other industries like American Airlines. It's got um, lots of other types of different companies there. So the NASDAQ, and then when you hear the NASDAQ 100, okay? So this is, this the NASDAQ is like the, the it, it facilitates, it's the whole setup, the actual address where, where and the computers that run all of the stock exchange so companies come and buy and sell so apple amazon come here they list their stocks their buy and sell price and the investors come to buy and sell them stocks okay so you'll also hear the nasdaq 100 so the nasdaq 100 actually just means the top stocks top earning volume of stocks that the top market cap stock so the top companies in the nasdaq okay and actually the it company i work work with is listed on the nasdaq 100 um so you can go through it there if you can try and guess leave it in the comments <laughs> okay so so keep it basic so that's it so next is buy and long so buy is the same as long when when you hear people saying are you going to buy a stock or long a stock so it it refers to the purchase of a stock with the expectation that it will rise in value, okay? So in, investors buy or they say long an, a stock, that the, what they are investing in that stock because they believe it's going to go up in value and then they'll sell it when it goes up in value, okay? And if you go back to eToro, so when you go to trade, You'll just see the buy option here. So that's buy, okay? So it's long, you're long and you're buying the stock 
to say that it's going to go up in value. You're betting that it's going to go up in value, okay? So you buy it at 89.97 and you're, you're betting that it's going to go up in value and then you sell it when it goes up in value to make the gains. Okay, so the next one is the opposite to buy and long is to sell or short, okay? So sell is the opposite where an investor borrows a stock from the stock market to bet that the stock price will drop in value. And then they buy it back from the, the lender when the, when the price drops in value, okay? So just to go over that, that again, so it's the opposite to buy. So if you go to eToro again, you click on the sell button up here, okay? So you're you're when you say you're selling, you're borrowing this off off the exchange, but you're betting that the the price is going to go down in value, okay? And then when you you put in your order here, you say five thousand, and you open the trade as a sell position, you're borrowing that stock for a portion of time to hold it, and then when the price drops, you 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 buy the stock back off the exchange, with evens out evens out the transaction so then you get the profit of the difference between the price that you like sold the stock to borrow it off them and the price that you buy it back at so you you minus them two together and that's what the gain is so again sell is just you're borrowing the stock and you're from the exchange to bet that it goes down in value and when it does go down in value you buy it back of the exchange and then you minus that off the sell value and that's your gains okay so re really really easy when you know how okay so the types of trading okay so copy trading enables individuals to automatically copy trades managed by selected traders okay so if we go back into eToro here we can go over to the left hand side we copy people okay so all you're doing here is you come you sell, you look for a, a popular investor you check out all their stats etc okay let's just look at Jeppe Court Bond. So what you're doing here, as I said in the description, is just enabling you to automatically copy the trades managed by Jeppe. Okay. So, so all you're doing is when Epe trades, you automatically copy what he does. Okay. So when he buys a stock for like five percent of his total investment, you buy the stock at a total same same percentage of your investment okay and if he sells a stock um you automatically sell your stock at the exact same percentage so you just copy in his portfolio automatically so when he buys and sells these stocks that's all you're doing you're just copying exactly what he is doing so it's really good for um beginners and eToro is recommended because it's the largest social trading or copy trading platform in the world. Okay, next we have on the list is scalping. Okay, so scalping is not allowed on eToro, uh, but I just said I'd add this in because you might see this coming up in conversation. So scalping involves making hundreds of trades daily for small moves in the price while holding the stock for seconds. Okay. So as I said, eToro does not allow scalping on the platform, so it's against the terms and conditions, so please don't do that. So scalping is just going in like, let's say you go into the Sony stock, okay, or any stock that you want to look at. Let's see what, went to one of the stocks that Yepe is like. Let's go into Apple this time. So you, you go to Apple, so they would buy Apple or or. They would sell Apple. Remember, buy and sell the two different different types, okay? And they are betting they will only hold the stock for like seconds to get that small change in the graph, the up and down, the price of of. So if the stock goes up or down, like within seconds, they're looking for like twenty five cents, or or even lower of the trades, okay? Sorry, so. They are looking like, let's look, sorry, let's look at the chart here. So, so scalping is where you go in and make, you're making hundreds of trades a day just for small, small amounts, okay? So, 
like they're coming in like if you're on the day sorry get to that chart that's on eToro it's not showing up on that okay sorry i have to go into the actual stock bear with me there sorry guys so if i go into the stock i'm going to pick one of the stocks and then we'll see so we just go into the portfolio boom okay so we go into the portfolio and we pick a stock let's pick microsoft okay and then we click into microsoft again it should be bringing me to the microsoft page there we go i'm at the page so this is the stock so if i was scalping we'll just go into the stats okay so they're making hundreds of trades within the within it in a day for small this is every five minutes is the points on this but they're not even waiting five minutes they're waiting like 30 seconds or less like for the price to go up and down so the bias for a hundred dollars and then it goes up to a hundred dollars and 25 cents and then they're selling it then they move on to the next trade etc so that is not allowed on eToro so i wouldn't um recommend this one well we can't you can't do that on eToro next one is day trading which one one of my favorites so day trading refers to buying and selling of the stock within one day okay so if we go back to the chart here so you go one day so you're buying and selling the stock you either you either buy it the bet that it's going to go up in value in that day so maybe you bought it here at the low point and you sell it up here so you buy it early in the day here and then you sell it on up here or else you can sell the stock betting that it's going to go down in price and maybe you you um bought sold the position here and then you buy it back here to make the profit okay so day trading is different than the scalping okay so the next one i have is swing trading so swing trading refers to buying and selling of stocks from a few days to weeks so if we go back to the charts again so we go for three, three months this time you could even go for a month so let's say they're buying the stock here to say it's going to go up in value betting that's going to go up in value and then they sell it over here okay a few weeks later or, or etc okay so like or else they sell the they, they put in the sell position here betting it's going down in value and then like a week later they buy the buy the stock back and then they make the profit of that differences okay so the last one i have to show you is position trading or long-term trading so this is the buying of the stock to hold for months to years okay so you're buying long-term investment is in large companies uh high cap companies like um sony etc or microsoft even so let's say they bought the stock back in 2008 okay or 2009 okay to buy it here and the hold in it for long term okay or even if they bought it back that 2017 they bought it here and then they sold it up here in 2020 so that's long term okay or it's called position trading so keep it simple in the stock market is is not as complicated as some people believe the last thing i want to go over with you is leverage okay okay so leverage is here i have it here so leverage is allow is borrowing of funds to increases one value or position while they're trading okay so let's go back to the microsoft stock so let's say i want to invest like 1000 here okay so leverage lets you borrow money or like borrow it's kind of like borrowing off the exchange to say i want the leverage of two up by two so you're betting instead of like if i go back here you'll see here with 1000 i can buy 4.71 stocks okay but if i hit two i can buy 9.42 stocks okay so leverage makes you put bigger bigger amounts or bigger value in the trade to get bigger profits but the opposite to this is you can double the loss okay so the same here so with five times leverage you're just five time and the amounts that units you have you're borrowing five times the amount of the exchange 
And then when you s sell the stock at the end of close it, you pay back the exchange. The money goes back to the exchange, okay? So, but like, be careful of this one. I wouldn't recommend it for um, beginners because the problem is if you do the leverage of five here, okay? And the st see the minimum stop loss here is 499. So if it drops below that, and it can very easily do that with leverage of five, it just has to drop by like, instead of dropping by 499, this stock, like you're really betting with 5,000 here. So if it goes down to 4,500, it'll sell the stock and you'll lose half your money. So I would not, um, for beginners, use leverage. Definitely not. You can try it out on your virtual profile if you want to try it out. But for at the starters, I always use this this one. Okay. I, I learned my lesson from leverage okay and okay what else do i want to show you guys is the stop loss and okay so let's say i want to open this trade so i open the trade at a thousand okay so stop loss and okay take profit is just an automatic way that you don't have to watch the stock you can set your stop loss so let's say i i want to step you can put it by amount or percentage okay so Let's say I want to step, put the stop loss at nine hundred dollars. Okay. Oh, like okay, stop loss one hundred dollars. Okay. So that's ten percent of my investment. Okay. Okay. Sorry, what the hell, what happened? There? Okay. So yeah, so I'm gonna set the stop loss as one hundred. So it's ten percent of my investment. Okay, so that's rate. You have to change it to amount. Sorry, uh, one hundred. So hundred is my stop loss. So it's gonna sell the stock if it, if it goes down by a hundred. So if this stock value goes down, if my investment value goes down to nine hundred, it'll automatically sell the stock. But then you can set the take profit to like. Let's say you want to take. We'll go to an amount again. Let's say we want to set it take profit to 13,000, okay? So let's see what it says there. Take profit at 13,000. The, the profit cannot be higher than 10,000. Oh, sorry. Yes, sorry. I, I've only got invested one. <laughs> so, okay, one 1,300, okay? I was thinking different there. Okay, so sorry, guys. Okay, now we have it, okay. So stop loss is... It's an automatic system. If you're not watching the stock, you can say, "Okay, I want, I, I can afford to lose a hundred on this one thousand value." So if if the value of this goes down to nine hundred, it'll sell off all the all the stocks. Okay, but it'll take the profit if I set this at thirteen hundred. It'll take the profit after this this investment goes to 1300 it'll automatically sell it okay and I, this is called you might hear it, it's called risk reward and this is useful for swing traders they usually use this one to three so you can see 100 stop loss and then 300 profit so one to three so you you, you multiply this by three and that's the percentage so risk to reward okay so remember stop loss is just an automatic safeguard so if your investment goes down by a certain amount it'll sell it off or if you want to set the take profit if you're not watching it when it when this when your investment goes in profit to this amount it will sell it off etc okay so that's all the terms for today um you can come to my website if you want to look over this yourself. It's copytrading.business.site. Okay, I have lots of different articles here with videos attached to them, so you can check them out for yourself. And if you want to start eToro yourself, you can click on any of these buttons or make an appointment. It'll bring you to the secure website, to eToro secure website where you can get a hundred thousand virtual funds to practice trading yourself. But come to my website, it's copytrading.business.site. I'll leave it leave it in the description and like and sub subscribe. Okay, and I'll see you on the next video. Okay, so peace and love and have a good day or night. Bye.